Hello, everybody. We are still again with an interview with an artist, a singer, an actor. And uh, about uh, uh, artists, it's better to, to make interview to give them visibility. And this time, yes. our guest is Michael Robert House. Thank you for accepting this interview. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Okay, it's great. Absolute pleasure. In, in in the meantime, I would like to everybody who will see the interview to make an introduction of who you are, where you come from, and where you are performing now. Well, right now I live in Fulton, California. I have lived in Europe for a very long time. Um, my artistic history uh, comes from making music. I toured for been about 27 years on the road so i made music years on the road Good. yeah it's it's been pretty long and i toured all over europe with my bands uh my biggest band was pipes and pints it was a uh, melodic punk rock with bagpipes the mm -hmm. scottish bagpipes and uh, it was amazing yeah and uh i came back to the u.s in end of 2016 mm -hmm. and uh, I started making music again what kind of music do you make now rock? it's still rock and roll mm -hmm. but uh, I kind of stepped away because of uh, COVID so Maybe. because COVID slowed everything down mm -hmm. and then I started going to acting school uh, mm -hmm. Michelle Danas in uh, Santa Monica it's up by Los Angeles. And I started like doing small acting shows and gigs as an extra. And then I stepped up and I went to television. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got my agent to work with me. And uh, now I'm doing my first feature film. You are doing so, your first. May you first tell us something yeah. more about that? Yeah, the, the movie's called Slay House. Mm hmm and it's uh, done by Kelly Dachtla. He's a producer, writer, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's very interesting to work with him because his ideas come from from different kind of horror movies. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you ever seen The Shining or uh, Rosemary's Baby, yeah. things like that, a mix of Halloween and Jason. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. He's got very good ideas, and he's he's a great director to work with. So, okay. so you most of uh, let's say your experience is on the street. Is that difficult to be an artist on the street? Are you everywhere and every time respected as you wanted to be? When I started out, I was I was just a street street punk you know mm -hmm. so i started playing small shows just for fun with friends and everything and then i kind of developed uh a very big interest because the recognition of the fans was very very good and i wanted to be a professional yeah so uh the people I had to play with had to be just like me. That was very important to me. And I found those and, and we're still friends to this day. And uh, we got very far. I mean, we we toured half around the world, you know. And uh, when you make music, it's it's like a dysfunctional family, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's It's, you have to, uh, communicate you have to uh, be a team make it work you know even when it's hard um but yeah it was uh, absolutely fascinating you know and uh, seeing all the other countries and the cities and meeting the people and making the music that you do and and, yeah. and recognizing how people react to your performance I think that's the biggest thing you can achieve. Yeah. Being a singer, you must be an actor because even singing is not uh, singing without interpreting something, without uh, following your word, your music with your interpreting. Is that right? That's right, yeah. 
Yes, singing is 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 a way of expressing a story because it's a uh, you're writing poetry, but you're performing it at the same time. Yeah, it's sure. very true. Yeah, very correct. But and, uh, uh, you 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 sing your song, so you are a cantautor or you are a singer, and uh, so tell us no. more about your art, your way of communicating by music. Yes, it's it's a communication thing for me, and I was always a, a singer and a frontman and uh, a writer. Uh, mm -hmm. I love poetry, so but all the experiences I had from life, or the uh, the places I've seen, or the the life experiences I've had, I expressed through poetry and rewrote it in my own wording. Yeah, and then I performed it and sang it, and mm -hmm. I was very successful with it. Yeah. Good because being a cantautor gives you more, more way of interpreting yourself. Yeah, when you yeah. sing a song, when you say the words, you say your life or the other lives. How do you feel with that? Sometimes it's my own life, and sometimes it's uh, expressing it through the eyes of another person. Yeah. But making them understand at the same time it could happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. I think so that's the best way to explain you, it. You would feel, would feel better in Europe or in US. So an artist like you have more the, the, the uh, right question. Have more possibility in Europe or in US? <laughs> Interesting to question. Be a, to be a singer of success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um um. Hmm. I like both. Both. Both, yeah, because uh, I grew up with different languages. I know how the life is in Europe, and I know how the life is here. Yeah. Um, so I like both sides, but I always consider myself a citizen of the world. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You have yeah. the possibility to be, because yeah. in, in the world is not a simple way. But yeah. in particular sure. experience in Europe to some specific countries, maybe in Rome, maybe in Brussels, maybe in Berlin. So some specific, let's say, experience that you remember time to time. Oh, I, I think the when you go from city to city and country to country, the cultures are, are very interesting and different. Sure. And uh, I would say that uh, when you go to like Rome, I Italian festivals, people are very eager and open-minded to see you. Yeah. Yeah. In German in Germany it's uh depending on where you play and how well the people know you, it mm -hmm. takes them a little bit of time to to open up. Yeah, I see. Uh, they're a little bit uh so harder the, to the Italian through. are more musical people than German. Yes, yeah. The, yeah as, as well as the French and uh Eastern countries, yeah. yeah, I've noticed that. Where Western have you Germany, been to Eastern countries. Which one is the best one? The best one. Hmm. Hungary, Budapest, or Prague? Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia. Slovakia also. Yeah, and and I have to say Russia. I toured in Russia twice. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, very wild. <laughs> No, why so Russia? Tell us, because we know in Russia is less democracy, but maybe they, more money. I think it's. I think it's because of the drinking. Ah, they drink a they, lot. They drink a lot of vodka, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they, know. they they get louder and they 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 like to when they party, they party really quick and fast and loud. <laughs> do you do you know to write a Russian song? Uh no, no. That would be interesting, though, to to translate one of one of the songs that I have into. So, have you have you tried to to sing some, let's say, country song where you are in Rome, an Italian one, when you are in Budapest, an Hungarian one, or just in English? No. So, it's interesting that you're asking me that. So, the first time I actually translated a song was last year. Um, but we did it to Spanish mm. because the drummer that I work with, he's uh, from Costa Rica, Alajuela, 
and uh, we did a song called Pirates in the Sea. We are all just pirates of the sea. And uh, the Spanish version uh, mm -hmm. was Toro, Toro Pasato. I can't remember so, the so words. I, I, I was not asking to translate the thing. The no, 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 but I was you trying know, to. You know, some music is international, it's transnational. So yes. they, they, they communicate to every language. To learn it by by heart, maybe mm -hmm. even don't know in the world, but know, know the music. So where you are in Moscow, singing in Russia would be great. When you are in Italy, singing in Italian, that would be great. Because there are yes. some songs which, which are famous in all the world, throughout the world. That's why I ask you to sing. If you come in Albania, for instance, singing an Albanian song would be great. <laughs> yeah, it would. Absolutely. I don't even know. What is what is the most famous Albanian song? Oh, there, that are, they... there are a lot of them. We have a festival. We have a lot of competition because we live in five different states. And uh -huh. uh, so there are a lot of them. Who are well, which, which, which band or artist is the biggest one? So... The last one, festival, 62 festival of uh, radio television. I followed mm -hmm. an artist and canto author, an Arbresh one, which is when you say Arbresh Italian and Albanian too. And uh, he has a very traditional song. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Santino de Bartolo. It's a well known singer. Santino Baltaro. De Bartolo. De Bartolo. De Bartolo. Interesting. A cantautor. And is it is it country music or, or more so it's rock? more or less country music because it is traditional. Now you, you know they are modern way. But I like the traditional one, country music, me personally. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. yeah for me, I, I like to listen to everything. So yeah, I'm right. all over the place with music, you, and I think that's important. You are a musician, singer, right? I am a consumer of songs, not a singer. So. <laughs> yeah. so tell us about yourself some more. So who is following you to know you are born in the U.S., where you are born, your family, in a very telegraphic way. Yeah. I don't um, so get I... you the private thing, just a, a portrait, let's say. Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Columbus, Georgia, mm -hmm. and uh, I was born in, into a military family. So my mother's Austrian. She married an American. Uh, they lived in Italy because mm -hmm. military people, they, they get uh, transferred every two years to another country or another base. So we traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the longest I lived was... Uh, uh, we went from Georgia to Italy, then to Germany, uh, then to Indianapolis, which was mm -hmm. the U.S., and uh, then we came to California. Um, my parents got divorced, and I was always in between my mother and my grandparents, I so that was Austria and the U.S., always a back and forth. You, you yeah. speak uh, Austrian language, which is... German. I do, yeah. I speak auch sehr gut Deutsch. Great. But Italian? No. Nein. Ciao. Va bene. Va bene, va bene. Yeah. I capisco. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, which is your... Let's speak uh, the last question. Do you have any concert to do in soon? No, so I kind of put the, the music on um, standstill right now until next year. And uh, I want to focus on my acting right now because mm -hmm. the movie Slay House is uh, starting end of January, start, starts the filming. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to take a while. And then I have another project in uh, through the summer and uh, one movie in Europe, in Greece. Mm -hmm. It would so, be great. Anyway, it yeah. was a pleasure to know, let's say, an artist, a very particular artist, 
and we will follow when the film will come up. It would be great to make another interview telling to people how was that experience in acting. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Maybe next time in person. <laughs> ah, why not? If you <laughs> come in Europe, it would be great. Or if I come in US. Yes. Okay, guy. Thank you very much. And uh, I know it's time to go to bed now for you. <laughs> and it's yeah. time to go to work for me. So this yeah. is the word. Best wishes to you. Yeah, thank Bocca you Lupo. very much. For we me. say in Italy, in Bocca Lupo. Bocca Lupo. In Bocca Lupo. Okay, Bocca Lupo. great. See you again. Thank you, everybody, yes. and be in touch with us.